Kula here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm making a ton of videos. It's raining and storming, so you might hear some thunder. I look kind of weird because I was playing around with my makeup and did some drama stuff. Um, my hair is doing whatever it feels like. This video might end up being a little bit long, so I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to do a haul for you guys, which is always exciting. Um, I got a bunch of really neat stuff. Uh, I got a bunch of really good deals on some stuff that I really want to share with you guys, so we're just going to get right on into this here. I'm going to start with Kohl's. I got another $10 coupon in the mail again. I don't know why they just happen. They just come to me, but I'm not really complaining because it's a really great way to get clothing. Uh, this time I got three shirts. I got this one. It says California on it, and it's kind of like a crop shirt. It'll be nice and, you know, lightweight for summer, I suppose. And I got this one. It is a My Little Pony, like, raglan baseball shirt. It's really long, so it'll be great to wear with leggings. But I just thought that was super cute. Like, it's old school ponies, too. So I thought that was really cute. And then I also got this one. I kind of just grabbed another shirt because I needed to get up to, like, at least $10 to use my coupon. So I just grabbed this one. This would be a great workout shirt. It says, I don't sweat, I sparkle, which is kind of lame, but I thought it was funny. And I like that it's pink. So I got those, um, and then I picked up some stuff from Ulta. I got a bunch of stuff on clearance at Ulta. Uh, I got two of these Sally Hansen Insta Gel, Insta Gel, Insta Gel strips. Um, you do need a UV light or an LED light to cure these, which I don't have. I should probably invest in one one of these days. But they were on sale for a dollar forty nine each, marked down from fifteen dollars each. So these are like 90% off, which is awesome. So that's I just I just had to buy them. I got leopard and I got this like flower print. So, so that was cool. So I grabbed those. And then this was a dollar. And honestly, I bought this more so for these little female things. There are skull and crossbones, and there's like black hearts with white bows in them. But then there's this like leather texture polish, I guess. I haven't tried it out, but again, this was marked down to a dollar, so why not? I mean, just for these alone, it's worth it. So I thought that was cool. And then I grabbed a NYX Love & Rio Eyeshadow Trio. That rhymed. It's pretty awesome. This is Sway with Lola, and I just thought this was super pretty. Just these three colors here. This pink. Here, let me do a quick swatch for you guys. Because I, I thought these colors were gorgeous, and I mean, if... If you can, I would go to Ulta and check out and see if they still have them on sale. Because they had a bunch of these, but this was the only, like, Sway with Lola one that they had left. So they're just, they're really soft colors. They're really gentle. So I thought that was super pretty, and that was really cool to get on sale. So that's what I grabbed from Ulta. Then I got some stuff in store at Sephora. Uh, I had my coupon from my lash stash so I picked up the mascara I wanted and I went with the Hourglass Better Than Sex mascara. This stuff is really good. Um, the brush is really amazing and you can really like build it up. Like I'm not wearing right now, this is the Maybelline Plush, Mega Plush, which I really like. It doesn't give you a lot of volume but it it's really defining so at that mascara is good but this is the one I went with. I picked that up and then I grabbed a hundred point perk. This is the Yube. Uh, moisturizing skin cream. I want to try this out just because it sounded interesting and it's Japanese which is kind of cool. Um, the only thing is it kind of smells like Carmex because of the camphor in it but it, it is really healing to my hands so that was cool. And then I also went to the Sephora in the JCPenney to hit up their clearance again and I grabbed another Deborah Lippman nail polish for four dollars. This is Boom Boom Pow and apparently this has actual 24 karat gold in it. Considering how this was only twenty dollars originally, I'm not sure how much 24 karat gold is in it but it's still cool that it does have it in it and it was five dollars. And I even have it swatched for you guys right there. So just a pretty gold glitter top coat. And then I went to Macy's because I wanted to go to the MAC counter because I just am addicted to the Alluring Aquatic Collection. And I picked up a lipstick because I just, the packaging on the lipsticks I think is my favorite from that collection. Just because it's, how gorgeous is that? It's so pretty. This teal is beautiful and these 3D water droplets are so stunning. I wanted, um, I think it was like Enchanted One was the color I wanted. I ended up going with Sea God, no, 
Goddess of the Sea because they were all out of the Enchanted one or the Be Enchanted, but I'm really happy I went with it. It's actually what I'm wearing right now, which might be kind of faded because I'm making a bunch of videos, and it's not a color I ever would have gone for, but it's just such a beautiful, like, rich wine plum color. It's, it's just super pretty, and it's super creamy, and I think it's a cream sheen finish. Yep, cream sheen finish. So that's gorgeous. This is beautiful. I love MAC lipstick. MAC is probably my favorite lipstick. Although I also really like Bite lipstick too. I, I've come to really like their lipstick as well. And then I got a couple Sephora orders. Um, I'll show you guys those. I wanted to get a Z palette and Sephora has their own Z palettes and they have a small one and then they have like the big dome one where you can put the mineral products in and they're a couple more dollars more expensive than regular Z palettes but considering how I'm a VIB Rouge and don't have to pay shipping it kind of works out for the same. Uh, so this is the one I got. I got a dome one obviously and I've already filled it with all my wet and wild shadows. Um, I also threw in a couple of my MAC Mineralize shadows in there too and I had a lot of fun doing this. As you can see I destroyed a lot of my Wet n Wild shadows. Um, it comes with this tool that you can use to, to pick them out if you want and then it also came with some magnets. Uh, it didn't come with enough magnets for me to do all of this. Uh, initially I bought a roll of magnetic like strips but I didn't like how it adhered and stuff so I ended up ordering the little um, metal square stickers from the actual Z palette store online and those work out so much better even though that one just fell off um but yeah let me fix that really excited to get this I'm gonna get another one of these because I have more stuff I want to depot and then I also picked up a couple more Sephora eyeshadows that were on sale for five dollars each this one is purple rain and it is a matte purple and it's super pretty uh, I really love Prom Queen, which is the other matte I got, and I really love these eyeshadows. Like, they're really good quality. I was actually really surprised. I didn't expect this quality from Sephora eyeshadows. They are $13 regular price, and I'm not sure I would spend that on them. This is Walking on Sand. This is a glitter uh, eyeshadow, so I'll show you guys that. And again, like, this is just super pretty. It's, it's not... You know, it's not like a color, like a bright color, but it has so much glitter in it, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So really excited about those two. And then again, because I bought two Sephora eyeshadows, even if they were on sale, I got a free three-pan palette. So that was neat. Um, I got a bunch of samples. Again, they gave me four samples instead of the three. This was the extra one. I don't know, I think this is a, a male, like a man cologne. I got some Decidual Love because I liked the Decidual Sex so much. This is Nude Advanced Renewal Eye Complex because, you know, I like eye creams. And then I got some Clinique Acne Solutions Clearing Gel because I have acne problems. And then they had a special um, fresh lip collection where you could get and then B.I.B. Rouge's actually got an additional item in this. So in here there is a fresh sugar lip polish. I do like this polish. Um, it has kind of a weird, you know, scent taste because it is a natural product, but it does work really well. And then we got a Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. I kind of had to rip my box open to get it out because I've been using it. But this is it here, and it's just, it's untinted, which is great. That's kind of like, one of the things I don't like about the fresh sugar lip things is that the colors can be kind of weird and they smell and taste kind of funky just because they are a natural product but because this one's just a lip treatment it doesn't really suffer from that and then this one was a new thing for me this is a sugar shine lip treatment and this is more gloss like and I'm just gonna rip this box open too because these are really hard to open and yeah so there's that it's just like a pinky almost clear product you can put on your lips. So I thought that was cool. And then VIB Rouges got an additional deluxe sample. We got a fresh sugar rose lip treatment. So I don't know. I, I don't really like the colored ones because they just, I don't know, the colors can be kind of weird and they smell kind of funny. But I might end up giving this to my mom. I might give it a try. I'm not too sure yet. But always excited to get free things. So that was that Sephora order. And then I made another order 
uh, to get another little VIB special product. Uh, this time I bought the full size of the Murad Acne Cleansing Solution, Clearing Solution, excuse me. This is the like second step, the treatment. Uh, there's the clearing gel cleanser and then there's this you use. Uh, I got the starter kit from Ulta and I really like this product. It is kind of expensive. It's $39 for this bottle, but I think it's really helping me. It, it has tea tree oil in it. It has salicylic acid. I, I just, I, I'm really liking this product. So I, I picked that up and then with that, uh, you got a VIB Buxom Hot Pink Lips Kit. So it's three um, of Buxom's lip products. There's a mini full-on lip polish in the color Nicole, a mini full-body lip gloss in Sweet Thing, and a mini full-body lipstick in Mistress. And I believe Mistress was originally just exclusive to the lip kit, if I'm not mistaken. But here they are here. Let's see, this is Sweet Thing. And these are plumping, I believe. So that's sweet thing there. And then this one is Nicole. This one's kind of more of a strawberry. This one has glitter in it too. That's Nicole. I'm probably making a really stupid face as I'm doing this too. And then this is Mistress, the lipstick. And this color is really pretty. It's a really pretty pink color. So that's Mistress, so that was my gift with my purchase, so that was cool. And then I also picked up a 100 point reward. I got a mini Tarte Flush Cheek Tint. So that's it there. I've never tried these before, so I wanted to give it a try. They're interesting. They're like a cheek jelly, but in a stick form. So they're really sheer and they're really moisturizing, so that's flush there. So I'm excited to give that a try. I've been into cream cheek products, so that'll be good. And then for my samples, I got Terry Mugler's Alien. I got this Good Jeans treatment from Sunday Riley, which I've never ever heard before, so that'll be cool to try. And then I got another one of the Nude Eye Complex, because again, I just really love eye products. And then finally, I got some neat stuff from Target. Um, I've started to find that I really like going to Target and kind of browsing their makeup section for clearance items because you can find some really interesting stuff. Uh, first things I got is I got two Maybelline Mega Plush mascaras. Um, they were on clearance for $3.14 each and then this one had a dollar off coupon so I got to use that so I got a really good deal on these. And what's cool is that this one is in the color blue or navy velvet, and this one's in the color purple velvet. So those would be neat to try. Uh, I grabbed this bottle of the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. This is like $3.50, I think, so I'll give that a try. And then I got a bunch of nail polishes. Oh, I also got this too. I got a Maybelline color tattoo. I got the color Tough as Taupe. I had a dollar off coupon for one of these, so I figured I'd give one of these a try. And then they had a bunch of nail polish on sale. Um, right now the, co uh, the Maybelline Color Shows are $2 each, so I picked up Gilded Rose. This was very similar to a Formula X polish I've been looking at, so I'm excited for this. And then I got a bunch of Sally Hansen stuff. Uh, this is the Sally Hansen Sugar Shimmer Polishes. These are on sale for like $1.70 each. Um, they're a textured polish. I have on the blue one right now, so it's just like one of those sand texture polishes and they have glitter in them. This one is Buried Under. That's the color, if you guys can see it. I don't know if you can. My viewfinder is color incorrect. Uh, this is Work of Tarte, which is kind of a stupid name, but I mean, this was really like bakery themed, so. And then this one is Mint Tint, and that one's pretty. My favorite one is Work of Tarte. I think it has the most interesting glitter and texture. And then I grabbed these three. These are the Sally Hansen Luster Shines. These are on sale, I think, for two something each because they're originally $8. This is Scarab, and they're all kind of dual chromey. This is, this one's super pretty. This is Lava. That one's gorgeous. And then this one is Firefly, and I was kind of disappointed by this one in the bottle. It seems to have a lot more color, but when I swatched it, it didn't really. And then I'll show you guys the swatches of those. So this is Work of Tarte. This is Mint Tint. This is Gilded Rose. This one's Lava. This is Firefly, so you can kind of see it's very similar to Julep's Harlow, but it seems to have less color. And then this is Scarab. 
and that's buried under. So yeah, that is my collective haul. It'll be really nice to finally get the stuff put away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.